G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's T Christensen, the Ice Cream Bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. It's lovely to have you along broadcasting from uh, St. Louis, Missouri in the Scoop School facility. And uh, we have a lot to be thankful for, very thankful for our episode sponsor, which is Rich and Heather Draper from the Ice Cream Club. They make great ice cream, you can sell it in your store. Uh, you don't have to worry about making your own ice cream, forget that capital outlay. Have a look at icecreamclub.com, the link is down below. Just click on it, doesn't cost you anything. Have a bit of a look. They've got some great marketing ideas too. Also very thankful for you for spending, I don't know, three to five minutes with us. It's nice to have you here. It gets a bit lonely down here in the COVID infested world that we live in. I do want to talk a little bit about, um, well, let's say food safety. Now I know what you're going to say. Oh, we're on another rant about food safety. Look, there's a funny story, an amusing anecdote that I'd like to share with you. Something that happened to me when I was a police officer back in the day. So when I joined the police service, uh, the Queensland Police Service, Brisbane, Australia, when you join the police, you actually rotate through some of the departments. And one of the departments that we rotated through was the highway patrol. Now, obviously the highway patrol writes tickets up and down the highway, but sometimes during the day, you've got to take a break from writing tickets and you've got to get yourself something scrumptious to eat. Now, one of the places we love to go was a gas station that to tell you the truth looked a little bit like the gas station at the end of the first Terminator movie. You know when Sarah Connor is driving in her uh, uh, Jeep Renegade and she pulls into this gas station and there's tumbleweeds blowing and there's chickens running everywhere. <laughs> well, it was kind of like one of those gas stations. They had a grill in there where we used to go and buy burgers and fries. Uh, and the guy that actually operated the grill, the chef if you will, and I say that in converted commas, converted commas, inverted commas, was also the guy that pumped the diesel. And so we would pull in and uh, he would see us pull in and he'd be pumping diesel and he'd go, hey guys, hey, that was an American accent. G'day fellas, how you going? I'll be there in a minute. He would wear this kind of do-rag on his head and it's 100 degree temperature with 90 degree, 90% 90 humidity. Anyway, he would walk in fresh from pumping diesel, not washing his hands, straight over the grill, uh, flipping those burgers, sweat dripping off his forehead onto the grill. And we used to joke about it and call it a diesel burger with extra sweat. So whenever we were driving along the highway and it got to be lunchtime, uh, we'd often say to each other, hey, wanna go and pick up a diesel burger with extra sweat? Uh, yeah, let's go. Now, the reason why I bring this up is we kind of laughed it off. Uh, this was back in the early 90s, late 80s. And we kind of laughed it off as it kind of being funny. Oh, it's a little bit of extra, extra flavor. It'll cook off on the grill. But we've become much, much more sensitive about food safety and about obviously uh, things being where they aren't. And so the question comes down to, uh, and really the basis of this video is, should your employees wear hair nets? Should they wear caps? The difference is that most health departments don't really require you to wear a hair net. And some health departments don't even require you to wear a cap. So just because it's not required doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it, that it shouldn't be good policy. Unlike the diesel burger with extra sweat where we kind of thought it was kind of funny, it's not really funny if someone pulls a hair out of their ice cream that you just made. So whether you wear a cap as part of your uniform or whether you wear the hair nets, I had one here, where is it? Gilbert. He's always playing silly tricks. So whether you wear a hairnet like this, uh, or a black one, or even just a cap to keep your hair back, that's really important. Sometimes the health department doesn't check on it. It may not be in the guidelines, but it's really important to make sure that you are not serving diesel burgers with extra sweat to your customers, if you know what I mean. So have a look at what's required so far as hair restraint, uh, but I definitely would recommend, even if it's not required by the health department, to definitely put it 
it in place. You should have a cap or at least a hairnet, maybe not something as dramatic as this, something that's black, uh, but your customers will surely appreciate it. The worst and the last thing you need is someone getting onto Yelp or a Google review or Facebook and giving you a one star because they found a hair uh, in their ice cream and it can be easily prevented. That's all we have. Look, if you have a diesel burger with extra sweat story, uh, just leave it down below. We love uh, responding to comments. Uh, we also love seeing that subscribe button be clicked. So I'm gonna give you three things to do, but as we lead up to the end of this video, I do wanna thank again our episode sponsor, which is Ice Cream Club. Click on the link down below. Over here, you will find the subscribe. Click on it if you haven't done already. Down here is the video that you probably should be watching next. And over here, come on into Scoop School, baby. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.